Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit. I hope you are good and doing well. So today I'm going to show you Summer 23 HTTP POST callout in Flow. This is a new feature and if you want to learn something new, so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. If you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel and please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new. We have some prerequisites about this new HTTP callout in Flow. Here I already mentioned lots of steps here. So just you have to follow these steps in your org and you can work this HTTP POST callout. Right. So first of all you have to create the external credential, then name credential, permission set, assign the permission set, create a screen flow and finally debug the flow. So these all steps you have to follow it otherwise you will not get to know about this kind of things so just follow me and please do yourself this kind of steps so it's well and good right so let's move into the org so i already logged in in my org here you can see this is my summer 23 pre-release org so you can sign up this org summer 23 release right so just you have to do one thing. I already created some flow name credential. So let me show you how to create that. So first of all, you have to do just follow these steps like external credential. So how to create that? Let me show you here. So under quick find, you have to search like name credential. So just click on this name credential. And once you clicked on, you can see two things here. Just focus on this, right? So first is like name credential, second one is external credential. So just click on this second part, this second tab and click on this new. So I already created like test post call one, post test, something like that. So just you have to click on this new button and create new one. So you have to give name, label, name and authentication protocol as a custom, right? So just let me show you my external credential just click on this test post call one and here you can see this is the label one this is the name and this is the custom and related name credential i will show you this in this uh, you know like uh, video please keep in touch so now once you create this name credential just click on this name credential and this is the external external credential just click on this name credential and here you can see my name credential so I already created here. So just click on this one. Under this name credential, I have this label, name, and this is the endpoint URL. So this is a REST API, right? This is like get, post, put. So based on your requirement, you can choose that. So this is my endpoint URL. Here you can see. So let me show you this endpoint URL inside my Postman. It is working or not. So let me open my Postman and let me create new request it should be post so let me select the post enter this url here and in the body you have to choose like json as you know raw so just here and under this website you have to pass this kind of you know json so just let me copy it paste into json body here now you can see immediately this is the body right like name data under the data your price cpu model hard disk size so just click on this send button and once you clicked on this send button immediately you can see here 200 okay means our record is successfully created so it's okay and you can see the id name created at data like this one this price cpu model and here you can see the hard disk like one tv Right, so we already tested this API here using this Postman. We can implement this kind of thing inside our sales folder using Flow, HTTP POST callout. So just move into Salesforce and let's see in the picture. And let's see in the action. So once you create this name credential like this, this is the endpoint URL, you have to configure it. Authentication we already created in the name credential, second part external you know, credential, so here you can see and leave it as it is all the things once you've done these things now you have to go to this you know step by step guide so uh, we already created external cred uh, credential name credential now just move into the permission set so under quick find you have to search like permission set permission set right click on this permission set 
I already created one permission set for my user or um, right now I'm a system administrator so you can see this one right so here you can see the test permission set so just click on this test call out permission set you can see like test post call out permission set and click on this manage assignment I already assigned uh, this permission set my user as a system administrator so just go back here so under the permission set just focus on that we have one features inside this one that is called external credential principle axis so this is the new one you can assign this external you know external credential with the help of permission set to the user so this is a very good feature so you can follow it right so now you can see once you open this uh, permission set under the permission set we have this feature external credential principle axis so you can add it so i already added here you can see this one same thing you have to do it right so once you've done it now open the assign permission set we already assigned that now create the screen flow so let me move into the flow and let's see in this one in into the action so under the flow just click on this flow here i already created this flow so let me click on this http call out call out post here so just open it this flow this flow is very simple and this is a screen flow and this is screen flow taking some input from the user side let me show you the elements everything here so just you have to create this kind of you know like input fields uh, the user can enter this kind of information and post into the server for the external server right so now you can see like name cpu model hard disk er and price we already seen inside our response request body you can see the, the, this is the request body and this is the response body so under the request body you can see the parameter like name year price cpu hard disk that's why i already created this kind of inputs here so you have to create it like this once you've done it now you can see the assignment so before that let me add the action so under the action if you want to add the action so just click anywhere like plus and select the action under the action we have this kind of feature this is the new feature inside this release it create http callout just click on this one immediately you can see name credential i already created that's why you can configure based on your requirement so i already configured this kind of things here right so no need worry about this uh, for now i already created so let me show you how to do that so just under the this one so let me add it here now immediately you can see the external post callout and api name and this is the collection variable right and where we can get it so you can create this variable using let me show you here like uh, action defined variable so just click on this one like apex defined variable so you have to create one variable like this and apex class should be like this external service underscore and then you you can give your you know like external uh, credential names like this in body you have to use this kind of you know fx class it's automatic created by you know uh, uh, like json request and response so if you need to create a new action so you can create it and you have to put this parameter as a request body and response so here just let me show you here in the action if you need like action so let's say uh, in the http call out let's say test right and you have to select the name credential let's say test credential immediately you can see the endpoint click on the next let's say again test one so here immediately you can see that this is the new feature like post beta so you have to select this post beta here right under here you have to give this url so here here to here this is the base url and after that you have to give this uh, objects so because we already given this kind of url so we have to follow it like this here right and here this is the very most important like provide the sample request and provide the sample response so just click on this new under this you know api just copy whole request body and paste it into this area and click on this review immediately you can see the all data types like data under the data we have year price cpu model hard disk and the name so just click on this done immediately you can see the green icon here just click on new this is the response body so again you have to copy this response body from here and paste it into this environment and click on this review immediately you can see this one right created at id name hard disk everything click on this done once you've done it click on the save 
and after that you have to do like request body so always remember under the request body you have to create the new resource under the new resource we have variable give the variable name like test where something like that and you have to select like apex defined variable so under the apex defined variable we have lots of classes so you have to search this class like external in body so under here you have to search like external post action in body like this and click on this done because i already created this kind of variable and i'm just using this variable inside my you know assignment like input body one this is my variable apex defined variable and name price year everything you can see i just mapped all the you know screen component with my apex defined variable and assign into this kind of you know like element after that this make it the call out and under uh, final screen you will be see like id and status code so just click on this done save it and let's see so just click on this debug once you saved your flow just always debug your flow so once you debug it now you will be see one input screen it's taking some input from user side so you have to enter this kind of information here so let's say like name so name is like uh, xps cpu model let's say intel intel i7 right hard disk let's say 50 tb year 2023 price something like this this is the price right and uh, click on this next button so here you can see some uh, processing is going on behind the scene because it's a po post call out immediately you can see the id so it's created by you know server and status code you can see the 200 means it's okay so this http call out post is automatic posted all the data inside that server and point url and immediately you can see the response so this is how to integrate or this is how to implement this http post right call out inside the salesforce using flows and this is the very most important feature so you have to learn it you can implement like this so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys